Hello and welcome to this lecture. In the previous lecture you learned how to insert a new node at the end of a singly linked list and in this lecture you will learn how to insert a new node at the beginning of the linked list which means to say you're inserting a new node as the head node. Let's take an example of a linked list with two nodes. The first node has the data John and the second node has the data Ben. John is our head node. Now we are trying to insert a new node into this list with the data Matthew. The condition is Matthew needs to go in as the head node. Now a solution for this could be we can remove John as the head node and make Matthew as the new head node. But what do you think is the problem that this might cause? By removing the existing head node we have lost a connection to our linked list. So now the next of Matthew will not know how to point to John and that breaks the connection between the nodes of our linked list and we don't want to do that. So before we remove John as the head node we should first store John in a temporary node. Once we do that, we can remove John as the head node and make Matthew as the new head node. So now all that the next of Matthew needs to do is point to the temporary node and that completes the linked list. So now the next of Matthew points to John and the next of John points to Ben. Now by looking at this example, you get to know how a linked list solves the problem the built-in list type of Python had. In the earlier section, we had seen an example where we inserted a new entry into the first position which resulted in reordering of all the index positions of all the other entries. So now by making use of a linked list, all that we need to do is make the first node point to the second node and that's it. So it doesn't matter whether you have five nodes or a million nodes, all you need to do is make a connection to the second node and no other nodes are affected because of this. Let's now list down the steps of the program logic. We first need to preserve the current head node in a temporary node. Once we do that, we need to make the new node as the head node and the next of the new node points to the temporary node. So that's the end of this lecture. In the next lecture, we will be writing a program in Python that solves this. But before moving on to the next lecture by making use of this program logic, try giving an attempt at solving it yourself. I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.